Today I have got my planner for 2018 for you. My planner video has been very popular last year. Last year I invested in a bullet journal and this was my planner for the whole of 2017. Um, I got probably about halfway through it but I'm gonna mix it up this year. So I wanted to kind of talk you through my planning system for this year and I'm gonna do a plan with me in probably about a minute or so, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, I did the bullet journal system all of last year. I loved it, I did join, I genuinely think that this has helped me find planner piece but I won't be using it next year because I think it's just too time consuming for me and I've got a lot of deadlines coming up that I need to remember so I need to be able to future plan a lot easier than this allows me to um, because obviously I'm getting married this year so I've got a lot of deadlines with regards to payments, paying for the honeymoon, paying for the venue, paying for all the different things. I've got loads of different appointments so I just kind of needed something different to the bullet journal this year but I did love it. I do have one that I was going to use for this year but I might actually use that just for trackers and everything like that so we'll see how that goes and if I do I will be sure to bring you a video on it but my plan for this year is going to be this this is the Mambi happy planner this which is me and my big ideas happy planner for 2018 this is actually a 1718 version so it's an 18 month planner so you can tell that it's a bit thinner than they normally are and um, this is because I've taken out the first six months because that was the end of 2017 which I did not need um so yeah I've decided to use this this year I was going to use this last year obviously a different version um and then found bullet journaling instead but I've decided to go back to this because it's really pretty I can future plan in it and I can decorate it very easily so that is what I'm going for this year and it says on the front of it the best is yet to come which is very true this year because it's all about looking forward and getting married and doing all that fun stuff this year so I'm not going to drive around for ages and we're going to get straight into sorting out planning for next week and showing you how I've set this up for the year so far. So let's start planning. As you can see this is the planner that I've just shown you, the Mambi 365 Happy Planner. Um, I have attached one of the pen loops that you can get with the planner on the front. Um, it's kind of a leatherette style um, pen loop with a little cute heart detail here. It is a little bit thick and clumpy but I need a pen attached to my planner so we're going to go with that. I'm just going to show you what the planner looks like inside to start with before we get on with it. Um, this is a set of Mambi Happy Planner sticky notes, like a dash board thing and I really really like these designs I like the bright colorful patterns at the moment especially like the cover in here I think it goes really nicely then you get the hello page which I've kind of penciled in my name but I'm not too sure if I'm happy with the way that's written yet um, you get the 17 and 18 year of you um, then we come to this page this is kind of like the crossover of where I've taken stuff out already so the idea is for me to stick these two pages together because I wanted to keep this page in my planner which shows you all the like currently reading currently planning kind of section of January so I really wanted to keep this in there and then you have got the dashboards for each of the months so this one says get it done which is very appropriate for January I have started planning out my month and um, I'm not really happy with the way this went so I'm definitely changing it up for February which I will film for you I set out a little key for what I was going to put in my little highlighters and this is also a hole punch so I can take this out and trans whoops and transfer it to each month so I don't have to write this out all the time um, so that just clips in there. Oh, there we go. And then this was my first week in my bullet journal. So uninspiring, I know. And I didn't really use it. I didn't get most of my stuff done. So we are changing it up for the next week, which is the week that we are going to plan. But before we get into all of that, I wanted to do something in the front of my planner to kind of keep me motivated for the year. So... I chopped up a piece of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper, which here are the remains of it. It is a Simple Stories scrapbook paper, um, which if I can find it anywhere, I'll link it down below, but I got it um, free with a scrapbook course that I went on. Um, so if you can't find it, I'm really, really sorry. But it's double-sided, so it's pretty on both sides. And I just wanted to make this a 2018 kind of 
dashboard for all of my goals and everything that I set out to do this year. Um, again, I've got this hole punch, which is the 365 Happy Planner hole punch, which punches all of the holes to let you insert it into your planner really easily. So I've invested in one of those, which is something I really knew that I wanted because after using the bullet journal system, I knew that I, although the planner kind of is set up here, I'd want to insert a lot of kind of trackers and information and extra stuff that kind of makes it more bullet journal like, especially note pages for planning out content and everything like that as well. So I'm gonna get on with planning this and then I will talk you through setting up my week. You have seen me create my little goals dashboard and I am actually very 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 pleased with it I really didn't want to cover up this dream big section because I think that's kind of a really good quote for the page I love the way this turned out I used the washi tape that was like half circles and put them against each other to make full circles up here which I think looks really pretty I made this little door for some of my goals just so they're a little bit more hidden and I love this little section where I could write a little title for the page as well um, I used lots of bits from the same Simple Stories collection um, again I'll try and link it if I can find it anywhere down below so I've got my attend a blogger event you will have seen a lot of these goals in my 2018 kind of trying to achieve and my 2017 roundup um i'd love to hit 2000 instagram sub uh, instagram followers sorry they're not subscribers and um, because one of my goals this year is to really focus a lot more on my instagram because at the moment i've got about 400 um followers over there twitter i would like to hit 3000 again it's just all about growing and kind of connecting with a lot more people i'd love to hit 2000 subscribers on my youtube channel i'm not that far away from a thousand which i'm super excited about and once i do hit a thousand there will be a giveaway but unfortunately it's taken a little bit of a while to get there so if you get me to a thousand you will all be getting a giveaway very soon <laughs> um 
this little section because I am getting married this year so it is a goal of mine but at the end of the day yeah fingers crossed it will be happening because it's all planned and ready to go so that's kind of just a this is happening this year little section and then in my goals under my little flap is uh, to get promoted at work and also lose seven kilograms and um, you'll have seen me kind of faffing on with this well these kind of sticky notes to try and get them to fit and it just wasn't working so I scrapped the idea and went with this instead um, but I'm really really pleased with this page it kind of it's a great introduction to my planner so let's get into planning this week so I have put that at the front as you see and it's got this beautiful paper on the back as well which I could also decorate if I feel fit um, I need to stick together these two pages so I'm going to do that now just take them out and I'm just going to take this double sided um, tape runner pen from Crafters Companion it's brilliant for this kind of thing because it's so quick and easy I'm just going to take it all around the edges and just like magic it's all gone <laughs> um, I focused on getting the holes all lined up because that was kind of the main part that needs to work properly there we go and then we can get into January again I really recommend investing in one of these if you can it just makes using this planner so much easier right so let's plan this week as you can see I've already cut a piece of paper um, from again that same Simple Stories collection. I really love this paper, it's such a beautiful collection. Um, so I cut that piece of paper already to go down this side and I will also be using this sticker sheet which is a 12 by 12 sticker sheet from the same Simple Stories collection. It's actually called So Fancy if you're trying to look for it. Uh, I, this is item number uh, 6402 if you're interested in these stickers but I'm just going to use these stickers on my planner and see how it turns out I've already penciled in some things that I've got going on this week um so let's see how this planning goes Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it with the stickers there. I don't want to go too mad because I still want this space to plan and write everything in. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of that now, but I just wanted to explain kind of my thought process about what I'm putting where. Um, so I haven't actually used any washi tape on this spread, which I'm quite surprised at because I thought I would have. Um, so what I've kind of decided is this section at the top is going to be work related which is why I've kind of filled in these boxes here because I will not be working at the weekend hopefully <laughs> um, and then this middle section is all about my YouTube channel my blog my social media all those things and then this bottom section is kind of my general life to-do list like at home things that need to get done meal planning all that stuff is going in this section down here but again I don't have as many to do's for this part of my life as I do these parts of my life so this is kind of a bit more filled in at the bottom um, this sidebar thing I really really like I think it's just really pretty and I'm going to jot in the date like the week and kind of have a little to run into do list down here as well um, with anything that I need to remember for next week so I'm going to fill this in and then we will be pretty much done
that is my plan with me for this week. Um, I haven't got a ton on at work at the moment, um, but I'm sure on Monday all of these rest of these boxes will get filled in. I've got a few things planned for my YouTube and my blog, which I need to get on, get filmed, get edited. Um, again, not a lot happening on the nights, which is why I filled in most of these boxes, but I'm off to the gym. I need to do some housework and I get my HelloFresh delivery on Saturday. Um, but yeah, I, I'm kind of sad that I didn't decorate this little section, but I, I just needed to get into planning everything. But I am very, very pleased with this dashboard for 2018. This is definitely the favourite thing in my planner at the moment. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this plan with me working on my dashboard and getting this week all set up and ready to go. And I will see you all hopefully very soon with another planner related video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye. I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Just what I do when I'm out so